Hello and welcome to Into Wine's Tasting Room. I'm your host, Lisa Colenda. Today we're at Yield, San Francisco's first and only organic wine bar. The tasting theme for today is organic wines under $30. We have a 2006 Lolonis Fumé Blanc. This comes from Mendocino County and retails for $15. And did you know that this vineyard releases 5 million ladybugs each summer to control the pests? Wow, that's amazing. I remember the heat wave in England once. I think it was 1976. Yes, cool. and Everyone was on the beach and a swarm of ladybugs came down and started biting people. And it was <laughs> horrific. It made the headline news, but anyway. You know. I remember uh, hopefully, they, hopefully the, the ladybugs don't get crushed up and put into the wine because uh, it certainly happens with some insects. But How does that change the flavor of the wine? Uh, it just gives it more nutrition in it. A little higher protein. A little more protein. Protein, 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 protein. yeah. It's more of an iron quality. Now, what, what makes a Fumé Blanc a Fumé Blanc as opposed to a Sauvignon Blanc? Well, it's the, exactly the same thing, but it's, um, it's rather derived from the original area in the, in the Loire. And the, the Loire stands for its uh, Sancerre and uh, Blanc Fumé, Fumé Blanc, and um, the two di adjacent districts, but both producing Sauvignon Blanc. And one's of a similar style. So it's interchangeable. I think it's a good thing, but it's the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Lots of Sauvignon Blancs from all over the world, including in New Zealand, of course. Huge quantities, so it's rather a novel thing to just call Fumé Blanc. Yeah, although New Zealand, to me, these days is the benchmark for Sauvignon Blanc, um, by which all Sauvignon Blancs are compared. And smelling this, it, it's, um, I find it a little bit lacking in fruit, a little bit um, just not particularly exciting. but. Um, The colour alone, I mean, it has virtually light. no colour. In fact, it was poured in the dark, you would have thought it was a glass of water. Exactly. I think it's too pale, really. But again, um, wines from the Mosul Valley, yeah. and also wines with low molecular weight uh, tend, and acidic wines do tend to be very pale in colour. And of course, acidic. But in fact, it's not incorrect, it's not a fault, but I think it's uh, not very exciting. No, and on the palate, it's just a, a regular glass of wine. It's, uh, I'd call this a wine for talking over and not talking about. Chris? Um, I think it's definitely on the lighter side for Sauvignon Blanc, especially in color. And there's not a lot of fruit on the palate. It's not a bad wine, it's just kind of lacks. It's not very interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing that's jumping out of the glass. I think the other thing is that, that the, uh, as one expects from a Sauvignon Blanc or Fumé Blanc, something very distinctive and grassy on the nose and positive. This is, you've got to actually dig hard. I've got to I think sniff like this. And it's sort of, I get green gauges and all the strange things. It's not terribly got to the nose. And frankly, it's, although it's better on the palate, um, it's not terribly interesting. I would also, 14%, by the way, but I too high. Yeah, I would, I would say that you get better uh, Sauvignon Blanc from Chile at half the price. Yeah, I think I'm, getting, I'm starting to pick up some floral qualities that are nice. But um, I think for the price, and the, it's a really good price, and it's also certified organic. So if someone's looking for a certified organic California white, okay. this would be, for the price, I mean, right. it's fine. So what makes something certified organic? Uh, they, there's all different factors, um, but these guys specifically, Lulunas is a CCOF, which is California Certified Organic Farmers. Okay. The same as like, you could be California certified avocados, it's you know, grapes. They're certifying a vineyard. Mm -hmm. And what uh, makes it certifiable? Is it the way that they the vi their vineyard management, they're like, okay. they don't use uh, synthetic chemicals in the, in the vineyard, so they're using things like ladybugs for pests. They don't spread. Okay. They don't spread. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's all kinds of different levels and uh, choices that the wineries can take, but it's the general term is they just don't use any synthetic chemicals. And does that change the flavor of the wine at all? I think so, for sure. But it's, it's debatable, for sure. Yeah, I'm a great uh, enthusiast of organic wines, but at, some, at a certain point, I would not choose an orga organic wine just because it's organic and, and sacrificing flavor. I would want, you know, if, if 
a non-organic wine has produces a better wine. You could give me that any day. An organic wine. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's definitely. I mean I don't think. I think it's a good argument for sure. But more importantly, this is the organic farming is versus organic wine. So this is what this one's all about. And um, this has been a Lalonis 2006 Fumé Blanc from Mendocino County. Retails for $15 a bottle. And I'll drink to that. <laughs> so what? <laughs>